to pick up a canvas and <laughs> they didn't have the one I wanted that I wants the whole reason I went to pick it up but I've just randomly bought an absolutely huge one that didn't even fit in my car so I've had to put my seats down but I'm gonna have some fun with it I can't wait to play with it Yay. When I'm working on a painting, it's such an energetic practice in that I'm tuning into energies around me and through me with people, um, whoever I'm working for or just for myself. Um, you can see me trying to catch a spider on my <laughs> canvas here. <laughs> I don't know how we got that. Um, so yeah, I'm working energetically, I'm reading energies and, and then transferring that through the medium of art basically and if you look um, to the right of the screen there's an oracle card there and two crystals one of which is carnelian and the other is tiger's eye and um, the card is about balance and the balance of power give and take and those sorts of things so um, that's the kind of energy that I'm working with when I'm doing this painting here and you'll see throughout the process how much it changes and grows um, and yeah it's just layers and layers so it's never it never ends up looking anything like what it starts looking like basically
So due to the energies of sort of balance and harmony, this painting kind of ended up turning into two different paintings on either side, but also very cohesive uh, together. So one side was almost like a waterfall, like that kind of flowing release of energy, and the other side was like an, a fire uh, energy that kind of goes upwards, so it's like an up, up and down, and it was like equal harmony, balance, um, so it was really beautiful to create, and I, and I was really, really pleased with it and really loved the process um, and therefore I called this painting Equilibrium.
Friday morning and um, I'm having a nice walk in the countryside. It's really sunny, but my phone informed me it was one degrees this morning. So I <laughs> wrapped up a lot and now I'm far too hot <laughs> already and I've barely started. This is quite a steep hill. <clears throat> I don't know if the only way back is up it, but I'm trying to reframe my thoughts around my own body and my fitness. So I'm not gonna think, oh no, I can't do that. I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna think, I am fit. I am fit enough. I'm fit enough other than, and I'm just gonna do it. Um, if there's no other way back up, I'm pretty sure you've got to go up anyway. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's actually not even eight o'clock yet in the morning. It's 10 to eight nearly. And I've been here for like 20 minutes. So yeah, I just decided to get up and make the most of the sunshine because we've hardly had any recently. So let's go. Okay, if I thought the other bit down there was steep, this is like 10 times worse. <laughs> yes, wish me luck. So I think I've finally reached the top. That was hard, <laughs> really hard work. I didn't, and I didn't know that this little library was here. Um, I just so happened to have a book with me that was pretty much done with, apart from a couple of pages. So I put that one in and taken one out. So I know next time I attempt this walk, I can do that again. Yay. <laughs> 